right. Are, are we good? Are we like... I think we're good. Oh, all right. We're chilling. <laughs> Let's go. I was waiting for a like... All right, you're, you're good. Um, hi, I'm Jank Pickle. I'm going to be running uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Um, I'm going to be running the any percent category, which allows for uh, glitches. Um, on my couch, helping me commentate this. Uh, let's start with Glitch. Um, Glitch Cat 7. I'm a Mario enthusiast. Very he good. got record on Luminescent earlier. That's true. <laughs> Round of Very applause for that again. Reply. Very kind of you. Thank you. Very good. I'm Cosmic. I've played all the mainline Marios and, yeah, here to explain some hard things to explain. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm Dangerous, and it uh, probably comes to no surprise to anybody, I'm also a Mario enthusiast. I am so excited to commentate for this run in particular. It is excellent. Uh, we should probably get going. Um, whenever you're ready, Jenk, let's get going. Let's All get right. this started. All right, so I guess to start, let's, uh, let's mention that I'm going to be playing with two controllers here. Um, we're going to be doing 1P2C in a 2D Mario game. So I have, there's a reason we have uh, the, the leg shot, the crotch cam. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to automatically select two players, um, and I'm picking light blue Yoshi, and we are going to start, I guess, are we ready to start? Um, yeah, let's all right. countdown. Let's do, uh, three, two, one, go! <laughs> all right. And we're going. Um, so this is the, the kingdom. I was, is it the Wonder Kingdom or Flower Kingdom? We had Flower this discussion. Kingdom. Let's go. We had this discussion, and we're just going to mash through. And so while we're kind of navigating the first couple of cutscenes we're skipping through and stuff, let's talk about what the objective of this game is. Hey, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I'm sorry. We just hit 1.2 million, y'all. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's they go. were waiting for me to start. Let's go. Keep it coming, please. They were waiting for me to start. And I we Huge couldn't have done it without okay. you. Okay. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Um, we, so this game, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, it's Mario's newest adventure. It's a 2D one. Um, uh, kind of different from other 2D Marios, though. Uh, instead of the, the warps and stuff that are pretty familiar in the other 2D Mario games, this game actually does require you... Uh, we're going to put that in big quotations. Require you to go through all of the worlds, collect all of the royal seeds, um, and in order to get the royal seeds, you need to collect these. Um, wonder flowers, wonder seeds, um, kind <laughs> of opens to, up. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> big quotes again. Um, to kind of unlock the final level, beat the final level, get the royal seed, collect them all, then go to Bowser's castle. Um, but we're doing any percent, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna change that a little bit. So uh, maybe we could talk about the two player yeah. stuff going on um, right now. So you'll notice there's already two characters going on. Um, while we were talking about that, Jinx over here managing two characters, tonguing with Yoshi, moving with Mario. It's like a bunch to manage. And there won't always be two on screen. That's mostly to set up the big glitches. But um, there's kind of an intro before we get into the main part of World 1. Uh, that's where the big tricks will happen. But um, we're going into the next level. You'll see we won't do uh, the Wonder Flower here to get more Wonder Seeds because... You're supposed to get a bunch to unlock the castle stage in each world, the palace. But uh, there's a few of them we can have a way around. Oh, oh no. Oh. I've been, that deviates from my plan, and I cannot adapt. Oh, no. <laughs> this uh, is... The, no. This game is super, there super will charming, be one. but... There, there will is be one. one, yes. We do have fun things. Save the best for last. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> I think I'm losing them. <laughs> Aw. All right. So cute little optimization that Jenk is doing at the end of every level. They're, they're using Yoshi so that they, can only, they only have to control one character at a time, which is really great. Um, should we be doing a clap at the end of the level or something like that? I feel like that's kind of a GDQ tradition. Yeah, we got to hit the crescendo. Let's try and get the, the clap on time. We've, we've, got, got, we've got lots of event. levels to get it right. So. Hooray is real hot this event. Hooray also. The hooray, hooray. follow-up, of course. Yeah, so even though we haven't been getting the Wonder Flower events to get the Wonder Seeds so far, we are going to trigger the Wonder Flower in this stage because it makes a bunch of stars fall out of, fall out of the sky, and that lets you run faster. So we're going to trigger it just for the stars and then totally bypass the seed. Yep, just skip right by it. Yep. yep. Another thing we're picking up here, we're watching for those purple coins. Uh, we're going to need those a little bit later to purchase extra seeds. 
That's right, because again, there are a few worlds where we're gonna need to get, also really cute little optimization there, just like flicking the shell and having it bounce back and forth and you just get to that's run right by. That's our one shell jump. I play a lot of Kaizo and um, that's my one shell jump. <laughs> I get one. And so yeah, just a little bit of a slowdown there so you can just jump right over the Wonder Seed, don't need don't. it. I'm removing my hands from the controller because if I were to jump off, that would that would suck. <laughs> yeah, the cute little optimization dangers mentioned of jumping Mario off. Um, we don't want to do it here because if you notice, there's a little clown. Or sorry, there is that would be not me. a clown. <laughs> <laughs> there is a little crown that floats above one of the character's head. Whoever touched the flagpole first or finished the last level first or hit finished higher on the flagpole. This is you know yeah, whatever. whoever wins the level. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, that person's kind of the leader on the overworld. The camera will follow them. If you change characters or go into character select, then the other one will warp to them. And when we get into the main part of World 1 here, you'll see we've been kind of on like rails. You can only go from one level to the next in order, but it will open up to this open world area. And what the, what the goal is, we want to get the open world movement, but while we're on top of the tracks, because then we can kind of just walk where we're not supposed to walk. Wherever we want. Yeah. See all this stuff? We're going to ignore it. <laughs> yeah. None of this is relevant. As speedrunners tend to do. It's funny because, like, <laughs> when we first started speedrunning this game, we were like, well, it's a 2D Mario game. So if there's going to be any, like, skips or big time saves, they're not going to happen in the level because you might only be able to save, like, five seconds clipping through a wall or something. It's like it's got to happen on the map screen. And lo and behold, we found something uh, that lets you clip out of bounds. In the map screen, you have to actually basically do some platforming while you're choosing levels. Um, it's very tricky, very, very difficult stuff. It's absolutely amazing how quickly the community came together to find something like this. There were so many people that were working on it. Yeah, yeah a matter of like three weeks or something, the game already blasted wide open. That's right. So we have this, uh, there's little cutscenes like this at the start of each world and... This is take... a badge. We're not going to see it yet. We're never going to see this one. Yep. I mean, we have a little bit of time here before we start doing the World 1 skip. If you've got some donations over there, we can probably get them read. Uh, you know, I think i got a couple here that I can send you with some priority. Let's start with this one from Dan Salvato oh, for $10,000. Oh. Oh Let's go, Dan. Thanks, Dan. I don't see Dan. Oh, and my God. And the comment is, wowie zowie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you like that 10K? Because let me tell you, Fan Gamer is here with another $10,000. Oh, my. All right, let's not re-enter this. Hey, everybody. All right, it's time. Oops, sorry. Yep. Hey, everybody, Fan Gamer here. Wowie zowie. We've got this elephant-sized donation that's made possible by everyone who has shopped the Fangamer AGDQ 2024 merch collection. We are putting this toward the Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways bonus run. We want to see it happen, and I'm sure all of you do as well. So keep those incentive donations coming. We also want to remind you that until the end of the event, 100% of the sales from Fangamer GDQ merch gets turned into donations that benefit the Prevent Cancer Foundation. You can find our full lineup at fangamer.com slash GDQ. Oh, and y'all, we're now at 77,000 out of the 160k for RE4 separate ways. We're almost halfway there. Keep it coming. And then keep the round of applause going for what we just saw on the screen. First try, World 1 skip. First try, and not only that, it was incredibly clean. Yes. Oh, that yeah. was incredibly well done. Remarkably more difficult just, than it looks. That is so incredibly difficult um, because you have to uh, navigate all that out of bounds. Um, it's a very precise seam, and while you would think Pressing right on the D-pad would send you right. It doesn't. It puts you on some off angle. It's like you hold, down right. You hold right to go down right. You hold up to go up right. It's, yeah, it's wacky. You're also walking on like a tightrope, basically. If you go too far off the screen, you just fall into the void and out of bounds. You have to do the whole setup again. If you go too far up, then you like just kind of get pushed back inbounds and you have to set it up all again. Um, so Jank makes that look really, really easy when it is I was absolutely freaking out not. Because um, I didn't get a jump. I don't know if you saw that. I ended up. I did up, see that. I wiggled. You had to. Using the. <laughs> I've seen some runners do that, but they will play on analog sticks so they can get the angle they want for that, I'm just, I'm like, panic. <laughs> uh, whatever works, works. We're through. Yeah, we will see more of that type of trick coming up, and we can uh, zone in on exactly what's going on again. But every time, there's a few times that'll happen, and every time it's like, it, it will look easy. Jing's very practiced, but 
one like pixel up or down and you're just falling off or going back in bounds. Yep. We and call that world one jail. Yeah, it basically is because it's so easy to mess it up in one way or another and then you got to do the whole setup again. And if you're if you're going for PB runs, that's like a, a minute lost and you're, you're just done. Like that's back to the beginning for you. And that will continue for every one of these skips that's true, so. I really do not like playing, what? <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I really don't like doing no resets. And um, uh, I've not played a lot of this second half. I probably only completed about like 10, 15 runs at this point, And one of them was uh, about an hour before this. So like, and it was there's very a good, whole second half of the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, can someone explain the badge system? Which guy, you want to take that? Yeah, so the, the badge system is a fun way to kind of augment the character's powers. Um, like Kind of like in Mario 2, where each character had unique powers. In this case, all the characters are the same. And we can pick up different badges as we're going through. Like Jank, for example, here has the Dolphin Kick badge, which allows them to kick uh, underwater fast. But we'll see some other badges um, and they have some other abilities later on. And we're in the Pedal Isles right now, kind of the water world, although we really don't have to play too many water levels, probably a, a plus. But uh, the way this area works, it's, it's the in-between each world. And so you're just moving on to the next world, and it's really supposed to be a linear progression. You beat world one, you unlock two, you beat world two, you unlock three. After you beat three, uh, it actually lets you pick four, five, or six in any order you want. And that's a really key detail in the route for this run. Yeah, unlike um, something like stars in Mario 64 or moons in Mario Odyssey, the wonder seeds are specific to each world. We only really need to get the royal seeds at the end of each world to get through. But right. only some of them. It's like we have two Petal Isles wonder seeds now. We could unlock this level. We eventually need, I think, 14 to unlock world six. Uh, 15 for world six. Okay, 15. Yeah, yeah, 15. All right, this is Robert Cove. This is like the last water level, really. Yeah, this is the last time we're going to see the dolphin kick. Um, there is a lot of badges in the game. I want to say that there's like like 18 or something like that, and we're going to primarily use just two of them. Uh, one of them we're going to be picking up in a couple of levels that is a very good utility, especially for vertical levels, uh, as well as the final boss. And the other one literally helps you run faster, so you can see why speedrunners might opt to use that. There's actually uh, two different badges that make you go faster. We have the, there's the jet run. <clears throat> Hi, I'm going through puberty. Um, <laughs> I was a child when uh, New Super Mario Brothers came out. <laughs> um, so yes, there's two different kinds of uh, speed. Oh, this is unfortunate. So we're actually gonna shift topics here because um, this actually messes with the next clip and that I'm going to have to be very precise with it. Right. Um, uh, I've done it. has a bigger hitbox. Helps you stay on the out-of-bounds walk. Yeah. That, I knew that could happen. I've recovered it before, but I am not super strong with it. So we're putting all the pressure on right now. Yeah. <laughs> you see player two coming back in. That, that's your heads up that an out-of-bounds is about to happen. That's because the way it works is you kind of walk next to those trail markers where the linear paths open up. Um, the character with the crown is going to get close to them while the other character jumps. And then while that character is in air, you can pause. You just reselect the same characters. You can swap, but better to just stay the same ones. And then it kind of warps the non-crowned character to where the crown character is and gets them in the middle of the path, but they still can have free movement. So that's how you get to walk out of bounds. So I'm not going to be able to get an elephant for this, which elephant makes the corners so much easier. Um, so we're just going to kind of go for it. It's the same setup to get out of bounds high. This is the uh, Switch Pro controller for you. All right. And then just like elbow drop the controller. Oh, my goodness. I was really... So this is OK, because I haven't swapped crown. Um, it's when I switched from the crown, uh, so I go to single player, that's when I'm like, oh. OK, jump, jump. There we go. There's the jump. And then try this. And then I'm wiggling a lot more than I would like to be. I hope this works. Um, I can't really find out until I just hold down. So if I'm stuck in bounds, we're going to have to go back to world one. To the level, hurry, hurry. We are good. OK. It's not over yet? It's not over yet. No, we have to go through this whole section single player. 
Yes. And I'm avoiding being pulled in. I've got this blind move. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. On the jump. Corners, okay, we brought it back. Jump, jump. Let's go. Oh my god. Awesome. Great save. <sighs> Very well done. Yeah. Wonderful. So now we're on the complete other side of Petal Isles, and the game does have a warping function. If you've ever played any of the levels, you can just kind of uh -oh. revert back to them at another point, uh, which is really handy. So uh, we can kind of warp around the Petal Isles now that we've traversed to the other side of them. We're yeah. okay because we don't need the... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So I don't generally practice this without an elephant, so we're just uh, we're playing. We're figuring it out. <laughs> Yeah, um, 2D Mario games tend to ha do have that in common, where like um, the power-ups really matter in the speed run, in like how you progress and how you do certain tricks and stuff like that. So uh, if you ever lose them, you kind of have to improvise on the fly, and that's so, part of the backup. Remember how I said I wasn't very good at Im improvising? Uh, this is me putting it to the test. We're on track now, though. We have the bubble yes. power-up, which is exactly what we need. Um, this is our first experience with the bubble power-up in this run so far. Uh, you're going to see why speedrunners love this one so much. Not only can you throw bubbles at enemies to just kind of capture them in, in their place, um, but you can also bounce on top of them. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like Cappy from Super Mario Odyssey. Without the capturing mechanic, you can make your own platforms. And not only that, but you can continue to spit bubbles forward and forward and forward and keep jumping on them forever. The tech right. works so well with that that it really seems intended, and even the bubble jump in the quiz that we'll find out about later. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, you may at this point be wondering why we even bothered to come to the side of the map. Where Petal Isles is in its own world that has a... It kind of has a royal seed. Anyway, um, like, why don't we just play around? We have to come here to get to world four, five, six anyway. And the point is, we actually don't have to go to worlds two and three. Um, because the game opens up after World 3 to play 4, 5, and 6, those are the only worlds that it bothers to check and see if you've completed before it lets you go to the final world. Yeah, exactly. So all we really need to do is get the 15 Wonder Seeds that are required to open up Worlds 4, 5, and 6, and we can completely avoid 2 and 3. And there was a point where we, were, we had like designated World 2 and World 3 skips, um, as well as an airship skip, which is also in Petal Isles, but eventually got to the point where we kind of optimized like what levels we need to play and what order we can play them to do that the fastest without skipping each individual world. And here we are now, where we're doing what we call reverse Petal Isles. It's fun how they've got us on the honor system. Like, yeah, we trust that you got those first ones. It's fine. Yeah. It is cool that a lot of video games do that, for speedrunners' sake, <laughs> specifically. <laughs> I think now's a good time for some donations. Oh, yeah, I think I have a few here. How about, uh, I think we got a little bit of sponsor jealousy going on because the Yeti is coming over the top with $20,000! <laughs> Wowie zowie. Uh, and that's what they say, too. Hey, all, Yeti here. Wowie zowie! We're getting in on this action, too. Please put this 20K towards the RE4 Separate Waves bonus game. Let's go! And we are going there. We are so close to $100,000 on that. We're at almost 99,000 out of the 160K. We are less than $10,000 away from saving the dog when we hit $1.25 million. Keep those donations coming, y'all. We can do it! We got time for some more. Oh, man. I, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, <laughs> $25 donation here from Nathew, cheering you on hey. from the back couch. Let's go! Thank you. I also get a $250 donation here from Zach. My wife and I have been watching Games Done Quick regularly since SGDQ 2018, when we were at home with a newborn. Five and a half years later, that kid is a gamer and a fan of watching speedruns, especially if it's a Mario or Zelda game. Since I'm sure he's watching now and will request to watch this VOD a half dozen times or so, hi, Teddy. <laughs> hi, Teddy. Hi, Teddy. And I think I know this Teddy, so hi, Teddy. I'm Ethan's dad. <laughs> oh, wait, what am I grabbing that for? See, I grabbed the controller in hopes of uh, pulling a quick one. <laughs> well, we just picked up a really useful badge there, and you're going to see that spin jump badge a lot uh, throughout the rest of the run. We have completed like six or seven levels in the game so far. You're supposed to get this like towards the end, and uh, it's going to come in real handy in the level we're about to play. For a game that um, is fairly like open with its uh, sequence, 
we found a way to break the sequence. Yep, we sure did. Yeah, so this level is a super, super fun vertical level, even if you don't have this badge, but the badge just, like, takes it to the next level. Honestly, probably one of my favorite ILs. I agree. Individual yeah. levels. Yeah, bubble jump plus the spin jump is so good. Like, look at the platforming you're able to get away uh -oh. with, with the bubble and the spin jump and the wall jumps. And then this room in particular is one that I really, really love. Um, so we're going to start by grabbing a backup bubble. Yes. Right here. There is a stupid jump in uh, in a level in World 4 that is like 50-50 on making it. I'm like, I would rather not lose that run. Oh, that was nice. Definitely good to have that bubble. Definitely that platforming have. is like, Jang makes it look so easy. Give me a round of applause just for this level. This level is just such a fun one to play and watch. Yeah, this is supposed to be essentially an auto-scroller where you just have to wait for the bubbles to rise, but we can play fast enough to outrun the auto-scroller. Nice. Very good. Little ground pound at the end there. Not only to just cascade down the level, but you actually do gain about a block right. of height um, if you do a ground pound. So just enough height to grab that wonder seat at the end. And player you can see real. we're switching back to player two. So we're about to do something called Wiggler Skip. Um, we need 15 wonder seeds in Petal Isles. Um, and it used to be that we had to do a Wiggler race. Um, but that was determined to be too slow because we can get some wonder seeds in some of the other levels that we... <laughs> that we're that we're getting right. So we've kind of done a little loop around the bottom half of Petal Isles. Now it's time to come up over the top so we can get over to World Four, and that that is what we call Wiggler Skip. Uh, ba basically, just because one of the levels happens to have Wiggler. So right, like Danger's explained earlier, we can warp on the map to any place we've already completed. So we have permanent access to World Five and Six. We're basically just getting to World Four at this point. Mm -hmm. Good setup. Um, I'm basically trying to position myself uh, on a, an invisible seam that I don't really have a visual for, so we're just, it's going off of vibes. And then again, just around the borders here and perfectly down, makes it look too easy. Oh it's my done. god, let's go. It looks way too easy. Very clean. And there's World 4. Here's the entrance right here. We've got 13 out of the 15 that we need in total. So we're off to World 4. Shout out Goodbye. to Mario. Bye, Mario. <laughs> Mario died. I hope he's okay. Yeah, he's got, uh, he's got a couple extra lives. We're good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. No game overs. I hope not. <laughs> There's something I love about this game is just the really lush, beautiful environments. They really added so much, so much life and character into this game that seemed to be missing from the Mario franchises as of late. The new Super Mario Brothers games felt like they were just like, let's bring 2D Mario back. This game is like a, a pure passion project, and you can tell just by looking at it. Yeah. A plus for whoever designed it out there. If you're listening, good job. Even Mario pulling his little cap down over his head when he crouches, the little sleepy Goombas, the background. So much personality, right? Mm-hmm. We've got a slow motion wonder flower in this world where we can really appreciate all of that, the animations. Yeah. Every world has got to start with one of these for some reason. They could have just like lowered the cap by one seed and let us just go into the world, but no, we got to kind of get an intro of what's going on here, I guess, so. They got to give the poplins something to do. That's true, yeah. <laughs> They're busy dying of dehydration. That's right, because Bowser Jr. stole all the water here, if I recall correctly. That's awfully messed up. Like, I thought Bowser Jr. was just about, like, I don't know, graffiti and fun things. <laughs> All right, so this is Snoodles. Um, this is another level where you're not supposed to have the spin badge. Or, I mean, you could at this point. Bluebird, you absolutely could not get it normally, but you can go out of order at this point in the game because it is it has opened up officially. I'm going to be using the spin badge. Oh, well, I'm, oh, that's not... Wow. That's not where I wanted to lose that. That's okay. We've got the backup bubbles. I do have the backup bubble, yeah. What, what are we doing? Jumps for us. Oh. There we go. It's so good. Look at his feet. Look at his little feet. Yeah, the little flappies. That's the best part. Uh oh. So um, in this section. All right, so this is a little bit of an improv at this point. Um, yeah, I, I want that. Oh, hi. They're, they're jumping. I, I kind of want <laughs> Mr. Game and Shout to oh. read donations in slow mode <laughs> after watching that. And then the fast one later. Yeah, oh, even better. <laughs> oh, <that's> better. 
You got any for us? Well, you want it, you want it fast, slow, or regular? I got a bunch slow, of them. Slow right All now. All of the above. <laughs> yeah. I've got a $15 donation from <laughs> Mish Coburned. Played Super Mario Brothers Wonder with my nephew last Christmas, and like my big brother, played Super Mario World with me when I was at his age. Love that Mario games still bring joy to everyone. <laughs> Have a good run, Jank Pickle. Uh, well done. Well done. Yeah, well done. <laughs> So here's, here's an uh, example of a badge that was not going to be used uh, in the run, but we're playing the level in order to get some purple coins and a wonder seed at the end of it. And yep. not only that, it opens up another level, which is also another quick seed. So we could do that. Uh, do, um, well, I guess what else could oh. we do? We could go into Shava. Yeah, that was a little weird. Let you wall kick. <laughs> or we could just pick up these two quick ones. And then that's an example of the uh, ground pound gaining height. Nice and that's the level. Everybody ready? <laughs> oh, I was getting better. I missed it. Toodaloo! Yeah, so like this game is a pretty linear progression. Um, this world specifically is like the only one where we don't do any out of bounds shenanigans. So we kind of just have to like play the levels that are the fastest ones, and those unlock other levels that are the fastest ones. You just got to play them and accomplish the goals. There are a lot of shops in this world, so we can buy a lot of the wonder seeds and make it faster. But that this is an outlier. Like every other world in this game does have some sort of like progression breaking um, that we can take advantage of by going out of bounds, and you're going to see a lot of that. All right, so coming up next, we are going to be getting the Fast Dash badge. Um, this is going to be our ultimate goal um, to build P-Speed. <laughs> Sorry, yes. that was a, a little bit weird, but basically, as long as you have a runway, you can um, get P-Speed, like in Mario 3 or Mario World, and um, it just goes faster. Yeah. Best badge for this run. We'll use it for most levels to the end. Speedrunners wanting to run faster? What a concept. Hey, Jank, real quick. Hi. We just crashed $100,000 for separate ways. Yeah. Woo! We are flying on it. Keep it coming, y'all. Nice work, everybody. Keep it coming. All right. Uh-oh. OK, we're good. So sometimes these bubbles do collide with these blooms. That's what they're called, according to the level. Um, yeah, I think that's the first full bubble staircase we've seen. You can just see the power of the bubble. Yes, and the reason that we do that is because these blooms are, well, they, they kind of are reminiscent of like a Mario Maker, like oh. one of those little balloons. All right, Timmy. Yes. 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 Oh, that was particularly stressful because I, I didn't have the backup bubble at this point. That's right. Okay. Yeah. If I messed that up, I wouldn't have another bubble for a good bit. It's nope. worth... It's yeah. worth mentioning those bubble jumps aren't automatic, too. There's a lot of timing and finesse that Jank is doing to get that just right. Yeah, it takes a lot of practice to be able to kind of keep the momentum going. All right, so we're back on track, um, mostly. Um, and we're going to head into this. This is going to be actually a demonstration of an infinite bubble jump, I believe we call it, in that you could just ascend vertically forever without any horizontal. But... Um, this game does kind of cap the ceiling. Nice. Oh, that was beautiful. Really cool. Yeah. Wow. That one's a fun one. I think my favorite level in the entire game is coming up right now. We're getting into the ninja party. Big same. Uh, this game is very musically inclined. Like, there's a lot of, like, musical components to it and stuff like that, including, like, playing along to the rhythm is kind of a reoccurring theme in this game. And this level, it just is it's beautiful. Guess who's not musically inclined? It's me. I'm terrible with rhythm. Let's so, say jump when they do. That'll be fun no, no, to play no, no, with. No, 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 no. So I'm going to be doing a very specific. Uh, I'm going to be doing a very specific um, series of jumps. So I'm actually going to be building this. It counts up to four starting now, and I'm just going to just chain these together so that I can get this ten coin and. And yep, there nice. it is. I no longer need the rhythm. I can just do whatever I want. Hey, that was actually really good. Very, very that good. That was nice. so good. Hi, why are you spinning? Oh, I bumped the Z button. That was odd. Just juggling controllers the whole run. 
Doing that level as clean as Jank just did is especially difficult because we are using we are using the jump. So like the sorry the the fast dash badge. So this level like is more synced to you having like a regular running speed. So you kind of have to play around the rhythm a little bit, and it's yeah, Jank makes it look easier than than it actually is. And talking about music in this game, I think it's fun that Bowser's ultimate goal here, potential spoiler, is that uh, he just wants to rock out and have a good time. He does. He just wants to put on a grand performance. Mm -hmm. He's just a misunderstood, like, musical kid, you know? <laughs> you know, speaking of music, I got some musical donations here if you want them. Yeah, I Let's think this go. is All the right. speed up this level, so... Is that right? Yes, it is. Yep. So how about we wait for that wonder seed and then you can go nuts with it. <laughs> All yeah. Right, I'm ready oh yeah, for we'll it. have time after this for cool. sure. All right, so this is the wonder seed. Um, and you know how we slowed down? Now we speed up. Yeah, go for it. It's like when your cat accidentally scratches you, but then uh, is extra nice to you. <laughs> cricket. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically cricket. That's my cat at five in the morning. Also, that was it. Yeah, I, I just held nice. right. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, so want to make sure we're getting some love for you in here, Jank. I've got $25 from Blue Ribbon High Life. Blue. Let's go, Jank Pickle. So excited to see this inaugural run of Super Mario Wonder on the GDQ stage. All of the Kaiser crew is cheering you on. I've also got, here we go, $50 here from an Onyx Mouse. Someday love will find you. Break those chains that bind you. One night will remind you how we unlocked our separate ways. <laughs> and we are still moving on that. that Over $100,000 awesome. <laughs> towards getting that added to the marathon. Keep the donations coming. So that was the drill power up. That is one of the uh, power ups we have. Now it, it now is a power up of all time. <laughs> now can, we're done with it. You can yeah. drill into the floor. You can preserve a little bit of speed. I think it looks like the Devo hat. <laughs> yes, oh. I love that. The power ups in this game are all really, really good. I think that they did a really good job of balancing them all to do different things. Oops, um, they don't feel too overpowered, but I mean, in the hands of a speedrunner, of course they are. All right. I hope you liked uh, the drill because we're done with it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Goodbye, Drill. <laughs> and wait until you hear about fire flowers, am I right? <laughs> what are those? When will that happen? <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> uh, what am I switching to? Oh my goodness, I had a brain fart. All right, so we have 13 of the 15 Wonder Seeds that we need to unlock the castle in World 4, uh, but the last two are just going to be shop ones, and we don't have quite enough purple coins to make that happen yet, so we're actually going to divert from World 4 and do it later. We're going to come here. We're going to do Muncher Fields. Uh, uh -oh. Speaking of like Mario Maker weird. inspired things, this level just reminds me of a Mario Maker level. Check out the Bowser in the background. What a good game. Yes. I love the environments in this it's game. So good. So, this is uh, if you get the Jet Run badge, um, it lets you accelerate faster. It's like really good, uh, a little bit faster overall compared to the. Um, fast dash generally, but in this stage you get the star, which does not stack with the, the jet run badge, but it does with fast dash. So this is fastest running speed. Alright, this is a really scary part, which means I'm bringing attention to it if I fail it. <laughs> uh oh, I did not. Woo! Wow. And the bubble jump into the power yeah. block. <laughs> Beautiful execution. Yeah, good save. Yeah, I generally try and duck there. Um, I didn't. Uh, but it worked, so we're good. And I look particularly cool doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Dare I say, wonderful. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Never gonna get that right. <laughs> so we did end up losing our backup bubble, and then we had to get the drill. And you can see that we used the drill for a damage boost so that we could kind of run across the munchers and then get the star afterwards. But we're back on track with power-ups. Um, right into World 6, which I think is like one of my favorite worlds just because the levels are so intricate with what you can do with your movement and stuff. Yes, um, and I do 4, 6, 5 um, because I think World 6 is a lot harder. And I want to get the hard stuff out of the way first. Um, yeah, there's, this is like the gauntlet. Once you get out of the uh, first three out of bounds, this is also the, the next hard part. That's right. And then we're chilling. We're, we're good after that. 
This game is hard in like a bunch of different ways. Like the first way that is difficult is the, all the out of bounds and breaking the game stuff. But then like the complex platforming again, Jank make this, makes it look way easier than it is. A lot, a lot of time and practice has gone into making the levels look as smooth as butter. We're going to talk about that. Why I'm turning around there in just a second, or yes. I guess in another level because I'm not doing it at all in the next level. But no, close enough. Um, but that's a fast acceleration. And we'll, we'll talk about it in a context where it's more needed. Um, but for now, go ahead and uh, we can do some donos. Oh, I got them coming here. They are just flying in. Let's take $100 here from JBH the Reaper. Longtime viewer, first time donator. And today just happens to be my birthday, so I figured what better way to celebrate than to donate to such a worthy cause. Good luck to Jenk Pickle and all the runners. Can I get a yippee from the crowd? Yippee! Uh -oh. Happy birthday. I've also got $150 here from Kay Lin. GDQ single-handedly getting me through my workday. Here's a, do a donation towards RE4 separate ways for some more GDQ. Hooray! 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 Up over $101,000 there. I love it. Keep making it happen. And $25 from Kawai Vicky. Wowie zowie! Hello from the audience. Much love to Dangers. So happy to be a part of his amazing community. That was and very cool. good luck to Jank Pickle. Hooray! Hooray! All right, so we are now a Roomba. That's what this level is. Uh, these things are called Roombas. I am a Roomba. You are a Roomba. Roll, roll, roll! We're all Roombas on this blessed day. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the longest time, this was absolutely a drill level, no doubt. Um, but since we kind of rerouted everything and we would, the next level is very, very reliant on a cycle, um, we routed out the drill so that it would be easier to uh, set up for the next cycle. So this level was a victim of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's actually a really fun level to play with uh, Bubble. It's a really fun IL for it being just a hold right one. This game like crushes Happy. it in the IL department. Happy. Yeah, and just in general, but especially this world, like you were saying, I feel like you just watch Mario run and jump, and he just looks so cool. You're like going up and down and perfectly fitting in all these little places. We were kind of mentioning it in the practice run earlier, but like it takes the best of every 2D Mario that's ever existed and just makes it so smooth. All right, so this is Fast Excel. Uh, basically, the, there's a point where the skidding state is going to be faster than your right state, so by doing a flick on the stick, oh my goodness, that was not how I'd like to do that. Yeah. Oh, no, that's that's that cycle. Unfortunate. Basically, every time uh, Jank is accelerating, you'll see the little flowers oh. pop out. That's the fast dash badge in action, getting them up to speed. And, uh, yeah, it, there's an extra trick you can do with it where uh, you, f you hold right on the D-pad, but also flick left on the control stick. I'm glad we have the hand cam, because, like, there's so much going on. But yeah, saves, you know, maybe like 0.2 or something each time, but when you do that in every single level, it adds up to tens of seconds. Yeah, so there was a cycle that was dependent on the, the first cycle, which I missed because I bonked. Um, so we're not going to even attempt it in this. So. Yeah, it basically just affects like where these moving blocks are we're going to be. We're also not going to try and get around that, because you can do that. Um, I've lost runs to just getting crushed. Yeah, you can get pinched Good and you lose your power up. We've only got one bubble right now, so. Yeah, if you lose this, uh, that's it for a good while. We do have access to a level in World 6 called the Item Party, where we can basically just go in, grab a power up, and leave. But of course, that's you know that's probably about 30 seconds of a detour, so. Mm -hmm. All right, we're there. I wonder if these rargs are related to blargs from Super Mario World. They jumped out of the lava, and here they're lava monsters. They they're come at you from the Yeah, lava. they are. Before this, they've had blargs and margs, so probably in the family. Ah, yeah. That's right. The arg family. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. All right. Next up uh, is going to be another shop. Um, Let's go. <clears throat> the way this world is sectioned out is um, there's two sides. And um, there's a very slow auto scroller in between, or a wall, or I don't really remember. I, I played this game. 
there are but some I also like forgot <laughs> broken bridges and like rocks in the way, and you mm -hmm. can like pay the poplins to um, get past them. Um, yeah, there it is. But yeah, yeah. primarily nice. that was a yeah really really tight jump there. I love this level by yeah. the way. This is like such I a said, fun up and I, down, uh, barely between everything. So yeah. cool. But we instead of you know paying the poplins or doing the the airship or doing anything slow, what we're gonna do instead is break the game because that's what we do. Um, so we're going to do all the really fast and quick stuff on the one side of the world, and then we're going to warp back to the beginning and use, uh, again, the free-moving section to get out of bounds again. We're also uh, not going to get this Wonder Seed because ultimately it would be slower than whatever we do. <laughs> do we have to factor in yeah, the time? Nice. nice. Ooh. I like that move. So the, the routing for this also factors in like certain things like the time it takes no for the Wonder Seed animation to occur in and out. That costs time, so... There's a lot to solve on paper for a route like this in the, in the math. Oh, that was a great pull turn burn. That's a... That was that's, awesome. I lose a lot of runs at this level. Yeah. It's like this section of the game is like a run killer at this point. I, fi I figured out all the out-of-bounds skips, but it's... Um, now it's actually playing the game. <laughs> yeah. Up to this point, the out-of-bounds has been fighting to not fall off of the map, but this world is very vertical, and so we're going to use it to fall off of the map. Not too far, but yeah, enough. Yeah. Just a little. Fall down to the lower just part of the map. Oh, I just now noticed those little elephant watering cans to it's the right of the poplin. Those so many horrible. nice touches in this game, right? Yeah. yeah. The, like, flower-shaped flowers, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. They're not oh, yeah. natural. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, they're they're flower-shaped flowers. I'm seeing, the, I'm seeing the same thing. All right. This is another badge. Another badge we will not use. Except for right here. Because we have to. But it even has tech. It's true. Yeah. Oh, it does have a cool tech where um, basically if you line up your grapple, it will uh, basically allow you to have that same fast dash speed, I think, or at least your max speed instead of bonking. Uh, you will see it right here. One. Uh oh, not there. Oh, well. Yeah, you got to cling to like just the very, very top, and it kind of like pushes you forward. And wouldn't you know it, if you miss that, you die. Yeah. Guess how I found out. <laughs> uh. And here we go. Player two is entering the fray once again. Got to give the crown to Yoshi, because again, it's all about the camera setup and who is in control. It's cool Yoshi can make an appearance. You could pick any second uh, character, but... Yoshi has his own unique attributes. It's an easy way to control both characters at the same time if you need to, jump on Yoshi. And yeah, he can use his tongue to grab some shells or some coins. All right, here we go. That might be good. If not, I can, this is fine. Uh, jump. No. Bummer. That's OK. All right, so now I'm going to do the frame jump setup. I have two different setups for two different positions. Uh, when you jump off the node, that's what I call this thing. That's a node. And when you jump off of it, if you do the frame perfect jump and then pause, um, it'll set you up to kind of spawn where you need to be at all, at like every single one of these, honestly. And now we're just falling we, through the map. That's it. That's, that's the out of it. bounds. And that's you just kind of have to position yourself right there. It's done. Second try. This level has a lot. So this, this level is scary. covered in pots. And the pots, you're going to see. Jank oh, is trying no. to control the pots. Oh. Um, tried to use the pot to grab one of those purple coins. That's okay. That we're kind of factoring in a couple of extras just in case. Um, but also, just maneuvering the pots and like throwing them around and stuff is going to be especially cool in this upcoming section here with the Wonder Flower. I like those little popcorn enemies too. They pop when they touch a hot block. I never understood the name of this level. Like, why are there three hots? What is the hot hot? What is just hot? Like. No, it's like it's like, a, like buffalo wing flavors. You have to go to a restaurant. <laughs> That's right. This is the extra spicy one. Yeah. All right. That was actually pretty good. That was hot, hot, hot. <laughs> it was yeah. hot, hot, hot. That was a hot, 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 hot. Hot, <laughs> hot. And something you might not have even noticed, uh, when Jank ran through the level the first time, they actually activated some of the flower buds that opens up this secret doorway. So we're actually going to go back and use the secret exit instead. This secret exit opens up two more levels behind it that are also really fast. One of them being just the, you know, the elephant watering can house 
that we get one for free and another just like bonus level. Every time we did end up changing the route for this level, um, we added a harder level. Yep. <laughs> and it, it only gets worse from here. Right, yeah, right before the castle, we're going to do probably one of the hardest and trickiest and most punishing levels that exists. And this run does it's not, not slow down one, at all. No, no time to breathe. Except for the break time. <laughs> yeah, it's break time. This, oh, this yeah, is the time you yeah, breathe. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of, uh, that would be a really good time for donations. Oh, I got them here for you. Let's start with a $500 donation from Blackthorn. Played Wonder with my son and picked him up early from school today to watch it on the GDQ stage. He keeps yelling, dude, you can't do that! <laughs> That's awesome. Also have $50 here You're from- You're not Ke my mom. <laughs> <laughs> also have $50 here from Candrel. Wow, should have called this host Mr. Game and Sing. I'm loving the musical, musical accompaniment art. Thank you so much. We are over $102,000 for getting RE4 separate ways in the marathon, and we are less than $3,000 from saving the dog. Keep the donations coming, please. $3,000 before the end of the run. We can do that easy. Yeah, easy. we got this. Well, 3000 3, to save the dog, another a little under 60 to get separate ways in. But I know we can do that before the end of this run, too. Oh, easy. Y'all yeah. just got to make it happen. All right, this is the uh, this is one of the many scary aisles, I should say. Um, Magma Tube is really difficult because there is lava on top, lava below. There is no, like, invincibility frames. You hit that, you lose. Like, you, you die, so. I'm going to time my twirls and bubble jumps. I practiced this. Yes. Ooh, nice. That is really, really That was really the thing hard. that was scaring me. Yes. And so I got it. Got it. But yep. not only is there that, there is also a second half of the level. Right. After this uh, spike stops spitting the meteors. Yeah, yeah and this is one orbs. of those like weird things. You're like, really? 45 seconds of just sitting here and like having a spit fire at us? Yes, really. Like This is faster than just about anything else in World 6. Uh, and we unlock this level. We get two Wonder Seeds. Ah! Mostly because it's in the level already. You don't have to wait for Mario to go in the level, load, save, out of the level, all that stuff. Fanfare, all that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, again, another example of that math being done to kind of balance what is actually faster, even if it's counterintuitive. I'll let someone else do all the math. It's good strats, really. Whew. Need some 3D all right. glasses all right. for that We're one. We're not done yet. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yes! Yeah. Oh. Let's go! I forget those buzzy beetles are even in the lava, and they're like, "Oh no, you're gonna fall in the..." Oh, you fall. Yeah. Yeah, that level not that great. easy. At all, all right, job, incredible Dang. stuff. <laughs> so that's 15 wonder seeds down. So we're off to the castle now. The very first one of the run, we're about 45 minutes in, and we're finally actually like completing a world. Castle 1 1, right? Uh, that was yeah. a hard first world. <laughs> yeah, geez, wow. They really made this one tough. Now, this is actually the sixth world castle. I was just being silly. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I didn't have to call Luigi in until the second world when I was a kid. We're good. But Luigi played the entire game from that point on. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm here. <laughs> you got this. This may come as a shock because of all the other levels, but this one is actually uh, really I hard. That. I want so. that. We're going to pick up a backup bubble just in case. But yes, this, I wanted that too. this level is not that very, very difficult. And just a second, you will find out why. So we're gonna maintain that. Crouch, double bubble. <laughs> Another situation where the top of the screen is gonna kill you, the bottom of the screen is gonna kill you. Again, Jank makes it look too easy. And that crouching too, when Mario is big, you're two tiles high, and by crouching, you lower your lower the ceiling a little bit so you can get under some low overhangs. Hey, did you guys know Bowser Jr. is in this game? There he is. Yeah, um, they, they put their heart and soul into this game. And you get to the boss fight part of development. And it's like, Bowser Jr. He's trying <laughs> yeah. his best. He's a little guy just trying his best. Do you, you like know? Bowser Jr.? He's just a little guy. I love the, I love the eyes and the guy. platforms looking at you. 
If you stand on oh. them, they will like move in the direction that you're standing on them too. But uh, Jank is specifically staying on the bottom part of the level because they uh, Bowser Juniors. Now there's multiple. Will like shoot up in the air and try to attack you from underneath, which kind of throws off the expected place that Bowser Junior is going to be I for the quick hits. I like how you said Bowser Juniors. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're really summoning good. the Mario Maker. Flashbacks. Yeah, yep. you know, that really, you can kind of see a little bit of the, um, the the Mario Maker influence in this with some of the multiple enemies, like the multiple Bowser Juniors, or the music levels. Uh, even some of the level designs are vaguely reminiscent of Kaizo. Yeah, it's like, I feel like this game had a lot more influence from the fans. I think the Bubble Flower, um, from Mario World, um, there's the... Someone made a Bubble Flower years before this with a similar color scheme. And um, it worked a little bit differently, but you have, you have a bubble. <laughs> uh, I believe that was by LX5. I would like to give them credit for that. All right, well, we're finally done our first world. And remember, we don't have to do world one, two, or three. It's only going to check for four, five, and six. So we're like a third of the way done the game, I guess, by that logic. Yeah. Um, and most of world four already done, too. Yeah, that's true. So um, a big and portion all of the pedal game. Isles. Yes, all Petal Isles right. is done, mm -hmm. except for Bowser's Castle, I suppose, which we do leave for the end. If somebody can figure out how to skip that part, that's like 15 minutes of time save right there, but. Yeah, there's a couple things I, I feel like are possible. Um, we just need to put more time into finding them, and Castle Bowser is absolutely one of those. Um, yeah. Since there's a little bit of time, um, go ahead and uh, get a donation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I love family donos and I love audience interaction. So here's fifty dollars from Mr. A Ticket Check. Watching and loving this with my two sons. My youngest says, Wahoo! Like Mario. Can we get the whole audience to give us a Wahoo! Wahoo! Yahoo! Thank you. And $50 Wah. and fifty dollars from Biochemist. Hello from the front row. First time my family has been able to come in person, and my son is so excited we were able to catch this wonder run. Hooray! 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 And then I'm going to just teleport over because it's just a little bit quicker. But yeah, I was saying um, with the uh, Castle Bowser, we, the final door is open. It has been found that that door is open. We just need to get there. And we do have a teleportation glitch that we found in this world. So um, I didn't mean to plan it like this, but you will see where we found it. Uh, right in that corner. Uh, I guess it didn't show. Oh, well. This is my favorite world environmentally. Yeah. It's crazy. They put mushrooms in Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have guessed? Yeah, so um, we were in a voice chat finding stuff. Me and Ninpalk, um, we were just looking for things, trying out a new thing that was found where we can jump on the out-of-bounds collision to get to Captain Toad. I would really like have liked to show that, but... Um, Ultimately, the route we came up with was not any faster. It lost a couple minutes. Um, but it was even crazier than what you're seeing now. And while trying that glitch, we found that um, he got warped. And we spent a little bit trying to figure out why it happened. And we were able to replicate it fairly quickly. Um, you just have to set your warp to the shop and then go to the uh, blocks, get out of bounds, and then fall onto it. As long as you cross over the um, a different level tile, in this case, it's going to be light switch, um, it'll warp you to the uh, Captain Toad node. It, it's crazy. I'm not going to be showing it. So uh, just visualize it. <laughs> Picture yeah. it in your mind. There's like a thought. theory of reverse entering World 4 and like breaking out of jail inbounds. It was hard. But I was so committed to that. The interesting thing about looking for glitches in games is sometimes we just sort of think about what we want to happen and then just try to make it happen. Oh, thing. I was dangerously close to the... Uh... Uh, everybody in the audience, you did your homework, right? Because there's going to be a quiz. I don't know if we told you, but I hope you came prepared. I heard someone studied. That's good, I didn't. Uh, I don't know, I didn't do it. Yeah, uh, we, we, uh, we didn't at all. I feel like I've done it all. A tennis match sounds right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Mario power pause. What? <laughs> what's, uh, what's this course's difficulty? Uh, uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's cheated on the hey. quiz. <laughs> Check hey. Hey. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, I gotta call a guy. <laughs> Would you like to phone a friend? Nice. Oh, you don't nice. need it. You're good. Three for three. Easy. All right. There's something like, I think you were saying during practice, there's like 30 odd questions or something like that. I went that. too fast. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, there's like a lot of questions. Um, most of them are like the, the answer straightforward. And, you know, as long as you remember the answer, you're good. But there is like one question and it is, how many Goombas have you stomped on from the beginning of the game? And if you get that one, like, that's legitimate time loss because you just don't know. I, okay, so yesterday I was doing a PB... Uh, I've been PB pushing all week. And um, I was a minute ahead at one point. And I get to Taylor's and... You get that question. I got the question! <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, I guessed wrong. <laughs> that's, a, that's the weirdest run killer I've ever even heard of. Yeah, I lost literally 12 <laughs> seconds on that. It's, it's not small. Something neat about these little areas. Well, may, oh. Oh. oh, I was letting them listen to the music, and I wanted to mention that uh, some of these tracks are from other Mario games. You'll hear maybe some Mario World or some Mario uh, Sunshine. I like, think there's a that melody. That one's in SMB3, there. I think, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, da, da, it's da, like da, the, da, da, the da, Hammer Bro da, 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 da. music, yeah. yeah. All right, this one's fun because you can't see the level. Yeah, this one's got some really nice platforming. Um, and again, you can't, this is one of those like turn the light switch on to see the platforms kind of thing. Casual fast acceleration. If you can't see the level, you can't hurt it. All right, and then we're going to do a stair jump. We're not doing a stair jump. A nice fast acceleration. Bubble jump. Nice little wall jumps, yeah. Oh, that's just so fun. Oh, jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I've actually seen real jump scares from those things. And then right here, what Jenk's going to do, double, double bubble, bubble. Uh-oh. This is weird. Oh, oh my God. Grabs it. I can't believe that works. Excellent. One of those bubbles was off screen. Off screen, and I had used the twirl to land on that first bubble. So I'm like, I have a very precise setup for it that I had to deviate from. That boo was about to take a chomp out of you before it <laughs> hoofed <laughs> off the screen. <laughs> All right, th that, that was good. All right. Next level, though, uh, one of my favorites in World 4. Um, wait, we're doing the upstream, downstream. Yes, ones, yes, right? yes. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. I, 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 would, I have gone to rifts so many times, and I don't have splits up, so I, I'm just going off of memory. Yeah, I really, really love this one. <laughs> this first screen, like, you, the, the level kind of spawns itself in with all of these like little, what do you call them? Like the buds? Bamboo um, shoots? But, I, I don't have a name for them. Yeah, whatever they are. The game never told me. The bubbles just kind of break that whole concept like wide open. Like right here, you're going to see bubble jump off the wall. That was cool. I, that I, was cool, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's a fun one. I like that one. Uh, just the background in this area too, these giant mushroom trees. Nice, fast, so so. Nice. Time to party. Time to party. Yeah. At least we get this. Like, we might not do the piranhas on parade, but at least we do this one. I love this one. Uh-oh. OK, we're good, I think. Yeah, we're good. All right, I'm trying to beat a cycle here, which I did. Nicely done. By a mile. Nice. Random little tidbit is every Mario game for speedrunning, you got to figure out where the best place is to grab the flagpole, right? And uh, it's a different answer in almost every one. It yeah. could be the top, the bottom, even the middle in some cases. But in this game, it's basically the bottom half um, because you got to wait for the little person to come out of the castle and uh, toss you the wonder seed. And as long as you get low enough, then you'll be down all the way in time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. La la. All right, now we're doing Don't leave. We're, we're still going. We still got like 30 minutes. <laughs> Wait, I'm not done yet. Oh just a little, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go a, ahead. Just a little shopping. We're going to do riffs next, but yeah, we got some time for a little, a little shoplin. All right. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm jealous of that one. 
$10 in from Sodatsu, sending some love from the Dangerous community, cheering on Jank, and sending good vibes for this wonderful Mario game. Let's get that RE4 incentive. And yes, we are now over $104,000 towards getting that incentive, and we are less than $600 from the dog. Please keep the donations coming. We are so close, y'all. Keep it coming. You're doing great. Okay, uh, so, sorry, are you good? I cut you off. No, um, you good. Sorry. <laughs> it's um, your run. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah, so the really cool thing that happened in that level that um, you couldn't really see because it was completely off screen, but there was there was a, co a purple coin that we had to grab, but we were basically just timing the throw of a shell. You just We just know, based on lots and lots of practice, when you need to throw that shell to make it happen. Um, and this is kind of like the... the you practice that? Uh, the Dark Madeline <laughs> of like, it. yeah, but you said you've finished like 10 runs and that's amazing. All right, um, yeah, that's like the the battle in fight. That's right, yeah. Yeah. But um, you never even really see Shadow Mario too fast. Yeah, we stun him immediately. Um, but yeah, so what, I was freaking out when it, from the beginning there because I generally grabbed that shell off the question block, but it, it, it didn't, didn't grab. And then the, uh, that throw, I'm still like 50-50 on it, and I did miss that hot, hot coin. So I was basically, I have, so throughout the run, I have one within route that I um, collect extra. And then I also have one that I can go out of the way for in uh, Poison Ruins, which is the level coming up after this. But I don't need it. <laughs> Whoa. I'm going to spawn in player two. And this is the last time you'll see Yoshi, ever. You guys know what... Oh, ever again. Oh. You guys do know what the two-player means, though. We are about to see some more out-of-bounds shenanigans. Now, this setup is a little bit different than the ones that we've seen previous. Uh, Jenk was talking about it a little bit uh, earlier. I made this. You can kind of do some warping, and uh, it's weird. You use the block. Uh, I'll let Jenk explain it. Yes. But... So basically, you have one frame to pause where it will send, Yo or send uh, Mario. I'm trying to position. Okay, so that's not it. Too late? Too late? Uh, that might be good. Yeah, and I'm just looking for a visual cue. Yep, there it is. And Mario's Boing. just up there, and now we are out of bounds. And we're going to just fall onto uh, Poison Ruins, which is the last level of this world. Skipping two pretty slow ones. So you have that six barrier, and then you also have the Swaying Ruins, which is also just kind of down there. Whee! Just like that. Just Easy. like that. That was awesome. And this is essentially the last level in the world. There is one after this where you actually get the royal seed, but uh, it doesn't let you enter that world, even if you fall onto it from out of bounds, unless you've beaten this level first. That's not the only setup we have for that out of bounds, but I, part I really wanted to show that specific clip, and it just so happens that it's a little bit faster. <laughs> All right, so this is Poison Ruins. This is the scary level of this world, and also like one of the scariest in the run. That clip went very well, actually. Um, but uh, should I get? Nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I was considering getting the checkpoint. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I'm well, here. We I'm fine. Right. We're just doing it. So there's going to be just All right, a little bit of... Don't die. <laughs> my, so the run that uh, lost time in Tailies died because I, my controller died. So instead of charging my phone, I charged my uh, controller. <laughs> And wouldn't you know it, the run's still going. Peace. <laughs> Hooray! There we go. So the hard part of this level is truly this part upcoming right here. So this is um, the the goo wonder, whatever you want to call it. This is it. a wubba. He's yeah. just a goopy little guy. Um, and there is a jump in another one of those sections where like the ceiling can kill you and the floor can kill you. Uh, and it's coming up right here. Not this one. This one. Yeah, right here. All right, so I'm going to go around the corner. Uh-oh, that was late. Okay, we're good. Nice. That's a very precise jump. If you Ooh. land on that Koopa, it will kill you. Yeah. You will that's, fall that's... or fall into the ceiling. No, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> you crap. will do something with the ceiling. 
And anytime you you die here, first of all, you lose the power up that you had before you came in, so that's bad. Luckily, we do have a backup. But the second thing is that you have to do this entire section all over again. And the later in that you get, the more time you're going to lose. It can be as much as like 45 seconds. It's long and again. it's slow. Exactly. Right. All right. So don't don't do not fly go too close towards to the, sun. the light. Yeah, um, when we were doing our practice commentary run like an hour and a half ago. All right, I waited. Good yeah, you I did hesitate. It. You did it. Um, it was I worth the half a second. Yeah. Successfully destroyed the sun. <laughs> that might have. Oh, so what I was about to say was that might have been my best ever poison ruins. Let's go. Before I uh, didn't go in the pipe. <laughs> you know. Super clean, though, still. It was still was really good. good. Um, hey, Jank, real quick. Hi. You like dogs? Because uh, we're saving them. We hit one and a quarter million, y'all. We have Ooh. met the Save the Dog milestone for Resident Ooh. Evil 4. Oh. Dogs are good animals. Good job, y'all. Keep it coming. Oh, I was pressing right. All right, so like we said, that is technically the last level, but then we have this one where we become goo again for like five seconds. So this is, I think this is just a donation level, yeah, donations. honestly. Uh-oh, I wanted to put that. If you've got any, Mr. Gaming Show. Absolutely, I was just getting them loaded up here. I've got a $50 donation from Gend Army. We picked up our kids five years and six years early from school to watch this awesome run together. The kids are loving it. Blown away by the skips. They're super excited every time a level is finished and, bla and blacking, then yelling hooray with the crowd. Clapping, then yelling hooray with the crowd. Uh, can Mr. Gaiman shout, say, hi, Kane and Vivisha. Hi, Kane and Vivisha. They've been loving GDQ so far. Hi, it, Kane and Vivisha. Hi, Kane and Vivisha. Uh, Kane and Vivisha. <laughs> <laughs> also, $30 from ND Lat QP. Only $55,000 to separate ways. Shout, aren't you excited? I am excited. We all are excited. We are over $105,000 of the $160 we need. Keep it nice. coming. You know, it's really nice. Um, so I grew up with New Soup, the New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Um, and, you know, it's a pretty good game. But the fact that uh, new players are going to have this game, like, I would have killed for this game as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I remember walking uphill to rent Pac-Man from the video store. <laughs> <laughs> Scraping quarters from the vending machine. <laughs> uphill both ways, right? In the snow. <laughs> In the snow. <laughs> All right, that's World 5 done. Now all we have to do is backtrack to World 4 and finish like the one level that we didn't do there, which we can now do because we have enough purple coins to purchase the two Wonder Seeds that we need. And then that opens up the way to the castle. Um, this is just another cutscene. Um, so we have time for more donations. I love it. I got them for you. I've got, let's see here, $5 from Sky Bills. Wowie zowie! Look at all of these wonderful friends. Congrats to GlitchCat7 on the fantastic world record run earlier. Good to see GlitchCat, Dangers, and Cosmic on the couch. Jank Pickle, if things get tough or stressful during this run, just remember that at least the screen doesn't flip over to another random game every 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Love to the 2D Mario community. Love, Sky Bills. Thanks, Guy. Hey. So even though World 4 is the one that doesn't have an out-of-bounds, it is different than the other still because, you know, you leave and come back, do it in two trips. That We just bought the two Wonder Seeds that are in that shop because we collected coins along the way, came back and cashed them all in at the end and can open up the palace. My fingers have been mashing and now they're tired. They need a nap. <laughs> they're EP. EP. <laughs> It's okay, you're almost there. There's only like five more levels to go. Yeah, actually, we're, we are almost done, Getting aren't pretty we? close. Wow, I did two no resets in a day. <laughs> That's a PB oh, either that way. One. That hey. is a PB either way. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. So this castle is a fun one to kind of just zip through. Uh, luckily, the fire bar cycles are really forgiving in, in this entire place, and you can kind of just run. You can just kind of hold right, and you're good. Um, but this is probably the harder of the two Bowser Jr. fights we have to do because he's, again, sucked up all the water out of the desert um, and is going to manipulate it, move it around. And it's kind of, it's not easy to make it consistent because the water is going to pool in ways that doesn't make that very easy. 
He is back. There we go. One hit. Uh, is it three or four? I don't remember. There are four I, hits in total. You'd right? think I would know, considering I'm running the game. <laughs> there's four hits in total on the fourth one. So there's, you know, Bowser Jr. manipulates the water and makes it do all crazy things after every hit. But on the fourth hit, he, he actually does the spinning phase and I then... Was done. Ooh, that was a good dodge. Good dodge. I thought he was done. <laughs> On the fourth hit, after the spinning phase, he's actually going to try and manipulate the stage again. So if you can, uh, if you can time it just right that you hit Bowser Jr. like right after he pops his head out, you can save about six seconds um, from avoiding the kind of wondery effects from happening again. So let's see if Jank is able to pull that off. I, lo I lost a run last night. The, the same run. I did one run. It had a lot of things. <laughs> it was still a really good one, too. And uh, what are you doing? There right. it is. That yes. was bizarre how he was popping up like that. That's excellent that improvisation. Works. I think you might be good at improv. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that my... Uh, the things I've been saying are supposed to be funny. I don't think they've been landing. <laughs> but the gameplay improv is immaculate. There we go. That's our last royal seed. Hooray! Oh, yeah. That, Hooray. Hooray! We're going to Bowser now. We this got all six. See, I've said Bowser's Castle for so long, but it's actually called Castle Bowser. <laughs> I learned this this week. <laughs> He's literally turned himself into a castle. And I love how excited Bowser Jr. is about that when he finds out. Like, yeah, my dad's a castle. Yeah, yeah I'm supportive of that. Good luck. Thank you, Flower. We're going to need it. So we are done collecting purple coins. We're done collecting wonder seeds. We're done all of that. There's one mandatory royal or wonder flower that we have to do um, just to progress the level forward. Um, but for the, the rest of the game, we're basically just going to be running to the end. Uh, mm -hmm. That's, that's kind of the goal. And there's, there's four levels that stand in between us and the final kind of uh, auto-scroller level and boss fight. We probably could get donation announcement or something during mm -hmm. this cutscene. Oh, yeah. We got them coming here. So $250 in from B.O.B. Hooray from the crowd. This might be the greatest 2D Mario of all time, and watching Jank speed run on through it is both impressive and hot, hot, hot. Let's get that RE separate ways. And also shout, I'd love for that separate ways cover to come out soon. Uh, thank you, B.O.B., for a big enough donation. I will ruin any song from your childhood. We are over $106,000 towards getting separate ways added to the marriage. Marathon. Please keep the donations coming. We also got $10 here from Vet. Coming in with more love from the Dangerous community. Absolutely loving this run. Jank is making this look so incredibly easy. And $500 here from Johnny Rico. Amazing runs this week and a fantastic job by the tech crew and host to make this a wonderful show. Let's get some separate ways. Thank you, Johnny. Good luck on Clendathu. All right, we can't actually head down from here, so we are going to teleport to Muncher Fields. And yeah, we broke the game too much. Yeah, <laughs> there's a cutscene there, believe it or not, and that's an airship. We don't like that. It's so incredibly slow. That was like the big first bounty level to skip. And uh, yeah. now we don't even have to do it. Although there was a recent route that was uh, considered uh, where you basically do the entire top half and then do the original airship skip. Um, although, I don't remember if... I think it was found to be a little bit slower. I just find the, uh, the out-of-bounds routing just... It's interesting. All right, this is uh, Missile Mag Mayhem. Um, you do bubble jumps. That's it. Yeah. yeah. This, this is like the perfect level. Like, when you start learning how to do bubble jumps, this is the level you come to to, like, perfect them. Because it hey, is... I got that. Screen one is just do a bubble jump. And then screen two is do a couple more. We have Bullet Bills, Torpedo Teds from Mario World, and now Missile Megs. The happy family of torpedo creatures. That was almost slow. Uh-oh. That... I'm going to take the L. It's okay. We got the backup, got backup. bubble. Yep. Did, I, did I get a checkpoint? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. All's good. Luckily, all this level has backup okay. flowers as well, so we're basically just at square one again. I can't help but think there's bubble flowers in this level so you can practice bubble jumping. Honestly, yeah. no, I think, I think it's an intentional decision. I think they realize that there is a skilled, pl skilled player base, 
and they did their best as nin a Nintendo best to accommodate the players. Yeah, and it's kind of cool that Nintendo will actually acknowledge that you can use their platforming skills yeah. in like fun ways. Like Odyssey will have coins in wacky places and stuff like that. So yeah, it definitely feels like that might be at least a little intentional. Just don't True. do too much with it. Yeah, like the, <laughs> That's the, right. the Out of Bounds, unfortunately, has been patched at this point. Uh, if you want to run this category, you have to play on the original version of the game. All Royal Seeds is a very good category, though. Um, yeah. It is a little bit longer, um, but you are playing more levels. There's more like content in it because you have to go through all the, the worlds. And you're playing completely different levels. You are not playing the same levels as any percent because we, uh, we skip around to get to these. Yeah, plus in that category, it's actually... It's kind of been debated, but it's pretty much worth it to get the uh, Jet Run badge. So even if you do play the same level, it's a completely different play style, the way the character moves. And you can run in midair for a little while, do all sorts of different jumps. Yeah, P-Speed is guaranteed, and you get, like, a solid second of Coyote frames. I would love to see a, um, a Fast Dash versus Jet Run race at a future GDQ. That, that would be, be really cool. They're incredibly close. I believe it's about a 40-second difference over two hours. Um, and you have more control over a fast dash. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that would go. I'm, I'm just putting it out there. It's cool how the badge system also, really lets you play the game in your own way. You can make up your own challenge. Try right. invisible only. <laughs> that would be a good run. <laughs> you know, one of the things I was considering when I was uh, playing around with uh, the World 4 Out of Bounds, the, the Toad thing, the, I, I wanted to do the invisible level. I had strats for that. <laughs> but it was still slow. This stage, uh, there's kind of a lot going on. A ton of bubbles need to land because there's constantly enemies shooting at you. And so you need good aim. Oh, it's super easy to lose a power up. I was going to try and spin in midair, and uh, I ended up. I'm, when you spin, it shoots bubbles. That is what saved me. <laughs> yeah, it was a happy accident. But you're going to see here, Jank is going to be shooting some of the bubbles like through the wall to try and get the bubbles to land on the buds before getting there at all. And that just kind of like speeds up the process of moving the pipes out of the way. That was pretty good. Oh. It's eating my uh, ground pounds, I swear. <laughs> I'm doing them. It's just hungry. <laughs> just like me. I didn't eat before this. Oh, oh. no. OK. It's so hard to keep it through this stage. Yeah, that wall jump That's is especially it. tricky because you're dealing with a rotating platform. All right, we are good, actually. I'm just mentally rerouting. Yeah, we are. We do need to take a damage boost in the upcoming level. That was but good stairs. That can be fine if you are Big Mario. Like, as long as we're Big Mario and we keep a bubble in the back, we should be good for the next level. Yeah. Which the next level coming up, some may be considered the hardest. Uh, there's just Absolutely. a lot of jumps, and you'll have some scary looking moments. We gotta be on the right pace, because platforms and things appear in time with the music. Super easy to get off track. There's Absolutely. a really, really stupid jump at the beginning of this, and thankfully I don't have Bubble to do it, because. I know I would have gone for you it. You might have been tempted. I was, I was right. absolutely going to go for it. <laughs> That's true. It saves maybe a second. And you have to do two very precise bubbles right here. And you do it two shots there. But instead, I'll wait. But you could get around this. It was so cool. These fists kind of the modern evolution of the uh, skewers from previous Mario games. Hmm? Scary jump coming up. A little bit nicer because you're small. A little bit, yeah. And then we just do a bubble jump, and then we're going to go through this corridor of bullets. Keeping and with the midair bubble jump. Keeping okay. with the nice. theme of danger above and below just all the time. Yeah, this, this first screen is oh, way goodness. harder than it looks uh, when Jang plays it. I, you can notice a reoccurring theme here, I think. <laughs> Uh, second scream is, is no joke either. This Wonder Seed is, again, the mandatory one. There is no way to progress the level without getting those, this Wonder Flower right here. Um, and it's all based on, again, rhythm, music, reoccurring theme in the game here. All of these platforms that are going to appear in your way are timed with the music 
and part of the rhythm. So if there's any point where Jenk slows down, it's going to kind of mess up the way that the platforms spawn in. So this has, to be, done. Oh, this has no? to be done perfectly. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I thought it was going to leave me behind. We're good, though. This is just a trust exercise right here. Really, yeah. That's a trust <laughs> fall if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I like how this area brings back a lot of stuff we've seen before and just kind of lets you have like a little bit yeah, of it. That's perfect. That's uh, as perfect a knuckle fest as you can get. Except for the cool strat that I didn't get to do. <laughs> well done. Yeah, so that Wonder Seed isn't actually accomplishing anything for us. It's just mandatory to progress the level. Does it accomplish anything besides like the very, like, en like as an end game requirement? Does it do anything? Um, yeah, it make number go up. It make number go up. I'm pretty sure you know all of the bonus content at the end requires you to have all the wonder seeds and stuff. Right. But. Okay. But that's it. We are in the final level now. The final level is a auto scroller, and as much as speedrunners don't really love that, I think that it really, you know, this game is beautiful. It really ties the game together. Uh, all the things that we definitely saw during this run are going to come back and kind of make an appearance. It's a, it's a grand finale. It really is. Yeah, this, most of this, well, really all of it, even the boss, is kind of auto scrollery. And yeah, a lot of the stuff they put in the back are things that would have come with auto-scrolling wonder flowers, so not usually the ones we would pick to sit through, but we get to see them here. Yep. Um, so I need Bubble to do a good Bowser fight, theoretically. That is like the one thing that I'm not very good at in this game. And also it's changing so to the spin badge was oh, a yes. thing. So we've been using the dash as much as we can since we got it, but um, the spin jump is going to make an appearance in this final fight for the sole purpose of giving some verticality, um, which will become pretty apparent when you see how the fight works. I'd say that while we're waiting for the auto-scroller, we've probably got some time for donations, yeah? I got them for you here. I've got $50 from the banana. We've been watching all day. My daughter really enjoyed the Undertale run, and now the Super Mario Wonder run has us glued to the couch. Keep gathering those Wonder Seeds. I've also got $25 from Non-Binary Code. Better hold that puppet up there. Hello again from the audience. The piranha plant on my arm insisted I give more money to this amazing charity. And it's got big teeth, so here I am. Take my money and keep me safe, please. I've met now, this piranha plant. Now let's get that <laughs> bonus game. And we are moving. We are over $107,000. We are two-thirds of the way there towards 160 k that we need for the separate raise DLC. Please keep the donations coming, y'all. Yeah, so um, this is the this is kind of where we wrap up the run. We reminisce on everything we've been through, including none of the things we've done here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bubble jump over it. Oh, I didn't make I didn't do enough. Um, yeah, y'all remember the remember the bull these. rushes? I love that level. <laughs> it's Everybody's a good level favorite. that we definitely here saw. We go. You really progress through the level, and that flagpole is awesome. See, we get a little bit of piranha dancing. I'm not even going to kill them. He will. Spike did. <laughs> Spike, how could you? Go off, King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. <laughs> Until Bowser. So I'm um, just going to use this chance to uh, shout out everybody. Um, shout outs to the Wonder Discord. Um, if you're really interested in running this, um, or all Royal Seeds is a very good category. Um, uh, there's the Discord on our speedrun.com page. Um, all the resources you'll need. There's a whole spreadsheet of them if you're, uh, <clears throat> if you're wanting those. Uh, I didn't prepare this part very well. Jen, okay. can, I, can I give you a shout out too real quick? Because somebody asked me to save one for this. Okay. I've got $500 here from Radicoon. Oh Whoa. my God, Rad. Jenk, it's been so cool to meet you. I hope you've enjoyed your run. You've really come a long way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Um. All right, cheeky little bounce over the blocks here. Hey, I made it this time. I did not make it nice. before. Oh, well, there was a skip there. 
So the reason that the verticality is such a big deal in this fight, as you can see, is because you're supposed to hit the button underneath Bowser's head. Um, the platforms are going to boost you up, and you kind of can use the rhythm, again, reoccurring theme, uh, to jump higher. Oh, that's um, good. But instead, you can use the bubbles as well to kind of gain that verticality instead. So if we can, we're going to try. Oh, Ooh, man. Just a little off. That's OK. OK. Good. Good second little hit. Back nice. Up. So this phase has technically four phases. The first three are going to be you need two hits. Then you need the in between the two hits, you need to clear all the hands. And then Bowser comes back, you hit him the second time. And then there's this dancing phase where he's just doing the fist pounds and throwing some piranhas at you. Um, there's nothing you can really do in between. The, the fight is this. pretty scripted. Yeah, so we're just going to let it do its thing. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for resources, I'm going to be making an out-of-bounds guide uh, with a hand cam so that you can better observe the, the silliness. Um, or there is also Frostadillo's 1P2C guide for LEGO games specifically. I am a LEGO runner. Um, I've, I wanted to mention it. It was going to be a whole bit, but then I decided not, and it's not that funny. So instead, I've been actually trying. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're doing great, too. Like, this, this run has been an absolute blast. All right, so I'm going to try and get... Oh, I wanted to... I tried to get two hits on these. Yeah, switch it. to okay. Elephant nice. for the bigger hitbox to kill the hands. And right. even taller to hit Bowser's button easier. Ooh. That's good. There you are. That'll work, yeah. Nice. That'll do. And now we do it again. Music is great. I'm just sitting here rocking out. Just, yeah, just yeah. jamming. Yeah, no, I was going to make a whole bit about how I learned this in LEGO Star Wars. The complete saga. So or no, I didn't, even, I didn't even do the complete saga. I was going to be a whole bit. I did, um, honestly, I'm not even a 2D Mario runner. Uh, like, that has never been my priority. I'm a Kaizo player. Um, you may know me for my level at SGDQ this past year, where I made the, the level for the hard level showcase, the Dark Pool. Um, I named it after one of my favorite albums. Um, but yeah, that's, that's like my, uh, that's where I come from. Um, uh, what do I do here? I don't remember. It's this one, right? Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. I remembered. <laughs> um, oh my god. I don't Balance know run out a little bit. I'm singing. We're straight up, like, singing. <laughs> Getting pushed to the absolute limit of uh -oh. singing. Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you, like, okay, whatever. Oh, that's a disco ball. Spike. It's a disco that's ball? So what? Clever. Did you notice wow. that? No, it's I didn't. Not until now. How did I not oh. know that? That's crazy. That's so I'm glad cool. you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Um, time is coming up uh, when I hit the button. So the, his head explodes into a switch. It's a whole thing. And it's going to happen real fast. So, the yeah, so it's Bowser, like Bowser's got some platforms even. here, but we uh, can do a cheeky little skip where we wall jump against this top one right here off his face and, and time. time. Yes. yes. Hold on. What's the time? What's the time? That's a PB. That's a yes. PB. That's the 125. Got it. 125. Oh, oh, finally got it. Got it. Nice. Oh, I've been pushing for this for a while now. That, oh my god. On the GDQ Wait, stage, one, no less. Yeah, yeah, it was 126 before, right? I don't know. You saw my splits uh, before. Now I'm like, what yeah, I, I, th I think 20 I think seconds correct. or so. That, yeah. That's a 30 second PB, yeah. Congratulations. You've been pushing for that all week. That was so good. Oh my good. God. Go. It happened. You got it. Uh, so, uh, how about the weather? <laughs> it's pretty cold. Yeah. Um, since I've done such a cool showcase, I'm going to heavily vouch for uh, LEGO Star Wars 1, the video game, <laughs> before Game Boy Advance. I would really like to play that at next GDQ. Um, wink, or, wink, nudge, nudge, <laughs> games committee. I would also accept LEGO Star Wars, the video game, for PC. That is also a very good showcase. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, um, shout outs to um, everyone who uh, helped with this. Um, thank you guys for uh, being my couch. Um, it's been a great showcase. Um, I, I hope this I hope this looked cool to you because it's really fun to do. Um, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, this game is just a, a blast. Like if you, it's it's so 
satisfying if you've played any hey, 2D look, we Mario's. Got the, we got the royal seats. We, all of them, <laughs> there they are. Oh, yeah, they were in my back pocket. <laughs> all four. <laughs> yeah, if you've ever tried to speedrun a 2D Mario game, this is one of the best in terms of movement. So, yeah, make sure you join that Discord server if you're interested in speedrunning. It's got everything, right? You don't have to do the whole game. You can do ILs. You can do the whole game. You can do 100% if you want. Uh, there's a little bit of everything for we everyone. we got category extensions that just opened up. Um, so, basically, you can kind of do whatever you want as in the context of a speedrun. <laughs> So, Jank, where can people find you from now until your Lego Star Wars run <laughs> at next GDQ? Um, I, I go by Jank Pickle on everything. Um, I've got a Twitter. I've got Twitch. Um, I guess that's everything. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I have a YouTube. I don't upload there. Yeah, nice run. Let's all clap again for the yeah. PBE. Round of applause. I've seen Jank working so hard throughout this whole week in the practice room, just really putting in the time. And I'm, that's so cool that it paid off for you this way. And very cool to watch it all come together in the front row, no less. Right here. <laughs> Wonderful. Mom, get the camera! <laughs> I don't think my mom's watching. I told her not to, wa to watch because it would be embarrassing. <laughs> so, uh, hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, that's going to be it, I guess, from oh, us, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, and shout-outs to my friends at home watching, uh, Hayden and Nick. I feel like they would be upset if I didn't say anything. Um, yeah, but that's it. I can put the controllers down, and we can leave and let the next run go, and I'll be satisfied. Thanks, I GDQ, for having us do this run. Yep. Thank you for having me. This has been a great first time on, uh, on stage, or second time, technically, because I was on couch earlier, but, um, but this is my first time running.